Let's talk about epidemiology. Okay, this is the first in a series of videos and I'm gonna cover what epidemiology is. We're gonna talk about case control studies, cohort studies, randomized control studies, confounding, Bradford Hill, incidence, odds ratios, etc., etc. So there's a lot to learn. But in this video, I'm just gonna cover what is epidemiology and understanding what epidemiology is will help you understand everything else about what we're gonna talk about in the next couple of videos. So, and all of these slides, by the way, are gonna be available at learnmore365.com. I'll put a link at the end of the video. You can click on and go there and you'll be able to download these slides that I'm that I'm showing you. Right, so let's first talk about what epidemiology is. And this is my definition, but to me, it's understanding the distribution in terms of time, place, and person of outcomes and exposures, and then using that to understand the causative relationship between them. Okay, let's dig a little bit deeper. What do we mean by outcomes and exposures? Exposures are anything that can impact on the health status of a person or population. For better or for worse, by the way, right? So pathogens, environmental hazards, nutrition, physical activity. Physical activity, there's a good example of something that translates into a better health outcome, for example. It could be uh, drugs, medicines, public health interventions, social determinants of health like housing, employment, poverty, etc., all of these are exposures, things that people are exposed to. The outcomes, as you can imagine, disease, but people often stop at disease. It's more than that. Could be disability, life expectancy, mental well-being, any other state of good health or any other outcome that you might be interested in. Right. What do we mean by the distribution of these things? Well, firstly, in terms the distribution in terms of time, is it getting are these things going up or down over time? Place, the physical geography, where this is happening. And person, understanding the nuances of the socio, socio and socioeconomic uh, delineators that describe the people that are getting sick, because that's important, right? Are they male, female, old, young, rich, poor, immigrants, etc., etc.? Okay, that is epidemiology in a nutshell. The application of epidemiology is public health. If you do any kind of research, I am about to blow your mind. Watch this. I've come to consensus and I've put in my research question. And what I wanna know is what is in the literature. Now consensus is an AI search engine for research. I've asked the question, does social media negatively impact mental health? Let's see what Consensus says. Consensus not only gives you a snapshot synopsis of what the research says, but it also allows you to look under the hood at the strength of the research that is informing the answer to that question. So if we look at our Consensus meter, we can expand it out and look at not just the numbers, but the quality of the papers that contribute to the answers that are given. It also provides you with a narrative or a little literature review on the subject, and you can click on any of the references and it'll take you down to information about that paper. And once you're at the paper, you can click here, ask for more information about the methods, outcomes, results, etc., etc., the type of study that was done, the rigor of the journal that it was published in, the number of citations, and more. And here is one of my favorite features of Consensus, where the paper is available, and if it's not, you can upload it. There is a Ask This Paper function. And yeah, you can read the paper, but of course you can ask questions and Consensus will provide an answer like, were there any conflicts of interest? Summarize the paper for me. Does the paper take age into account? And you can type in any additional questions you want right there and an answer will appear on the screen. Unbelievable. So take a look at Consensus today. I'll put a link in the description below. You will absolutely love it. Breaking news, you can get one year of free Consensus Premium if you use the offer code GREG100 and it's capital G-R-E-G 100. One year for free. That's amazing. Do it now. Consensus.app. I hope you found this useful. Click on the link on the screen right now to download this. Don't ever change. Don't do drugs. Always do your best. Subscribe, like, comment, etc., etc. My name's Greg Martin. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye.